T forty three, take one. Action. Oh, Noel, darling, this is wonderful. At moments of depression or exhilaration, there's nothing like a good long lunch. Mm. It helps to keep a sense of perspective. Thank you. Of course, Andre Charlot knows nothing whatsoever about talent. Thank you. I was referring to the fact that he was totally unimpressed by my audition. Oh. Never mind, he'll learn. We must just give him time. <laughs> Meanwhile, congratulations on a passable first night. Oh, you just wait till the next one. I'll show him. You're in the chorus, and Charlotte's a disciplinarian, so don't try any tricks. All I've done is fall through that damned hole on Quite. My... But I know you, Gertie. Given a step, you're apt to imagine it's a long jump. And you might find yourself falling flat on that very attractive nose. Oh. Good morning, Tony. Hello, Noel. What did you think of Charlotte's effort last night? Oh, we must all suffer occasionally. Miss Gertrude Lawrence, Sir Anthony Spencer. How do you do? Yeah. May I join you? I'm waiting for Julian, and he's late. You can't expect Couturiers to be as prompt as soldiers. What did you think of it? I'm sorry. The Charlot Review. Oh, splendid. Have you seen it? Oh, my God. I am in it, Mr. Spencer. He's a knight. Not that it matters. I don't care if he's a blasted earl. He's as blind as a bat. <laughs> Cut. Cut. Good. Fine. T-43, take two. Oh, no, darling, this is wonderful. At moments of depression or exhilaration, there's nothing like a good long lunch. Mm -hmm. Helps to keep a sense of perspective. Ah. Of course, Andre Charlotte knows nothing whatsoever about talent. Thank you. I was referring to the fact that he was totally unimpressed by my audition. Mm. Oh, never mind, he'll learn. We must just give him time. Meanwhile, congratulations on a passable first night. Oh, you just wait till the next one. I'll show him. You're in the chorus, and Charlotte's a disciplinarian, so don't try any tricks. All I've done is fall through that damned hole on my Quite. back. Right. But I know you, Gertie. Given a step, you're apt to imagine it's a long jump, and you might find yourself falling flat on that very attractive nose. Oh. Good morning, Tony. Oh, hello, Noel. What did you think of Charlotte's effort last night? We must all suffer occasionally. Miss Gertrude Lawrence, Sir Anthony Spencer. How do you do? Yeah. May I join you for a moment? I'm expecting Julian, and he's late. But you can't expect Couturiers to be as prompt as soldiers. What do you think of it? I'm sorry. The Charlotte Review. Oh, splendid. Have you seen it? Oh, my God. I am in it, Mr. Spencer. He's a knight, and not that it matters. I don't care if he's a blasted earl. He's as blind as a bat. Cut. Lovely. Cut. <laughs> Returning. Cut. Put me off now. T-43 Apple, take three. Half of Virginia all over me plate. You know, <laughs> Uh, here we go. Here we go. Are you rolling? Yes, right up. Yes, now? Yeah, here we go. Action. Oh, no, darling. This is wonderful. At moments of depression or exhilaration, there's nothing like a good long lunch. Helps to keep a sense of perspective. Mm hmm Of course, Andre Charlot knows nothing whatsoever about talent. Thank you. I was referring to the fact that he was totally unimpressed by my audition. Oh, never mind. He'll learn. We must just give him time. Meanwhile, congratulations on a passable first night. Oh, you just wait till the next one. I'll show him. You're in the chorus, and Charlotte's a disciplinarian, so don't try any tricks. All I've done is fall through that damned hole on my back. Right. But I know you, Gertie. Given a step, you're apt to imagine it's a long jump, and you might find yourself falling flat on that very attractive nose. Oh. Good morning, Tony. Hello, Noel. What did you think of Charlotte's effort last night? Oh, we must all suffer occasionally. Miss Gertrude Lawrence, Sir Anthony Spencer. How do you do? Yeah. May I join you for a moment? I'm waiting for Julian, and he's late. No, well, you can't expect couturiers to be as prompt as soldiers. What did you think of it? I'm sorry? The Charlotte Review. Oh, splendid. Have you seen it? Oh, my God. I am in it, Mr. Spencer. He's a knight, but not that it matters. I don't care if he's a belted earl. He's as blind as a bat. <laughs> Cut. Right up. <laughs> Returning. T-117, take one. Speed. Oh, I'm in such a rage. Oh, my. What are we to do? I don't know. Whose yacht is that? The Duke of Westminster's, as I expect it always is. I wish you were on it. I wish you were, too. There's no need to be nasty. Yes, there is every need. I've never in my life felt a greater urge to be nasty. And you can be, can't you? What about that damn telegram? That line is not in the script of private lives. The only thing that needs fixing is my acting, indeed. There are times when it most definitely does. That is precisely why I agreed to start rehearsal so early. Oh, go to hell. Never move on a line like that. It kills its own death. I'll kill you in a minute. When does Tony arrive? Next Wednesday. Why? The Lord Chamberlain has seen fit to question various passages from private lives. I shall have to go to London and convince him that he is mistaken. Oh. 
So you and Tony will have the house to yourselves. Oh, I, I might go with you. If you do, it'll be the first time a theatrical censor has provided a woman with a refuge from answering pressing questions from her lover. By the way, how are dear Charles and dear Ben? Don't be coarse, dear. You're a guest in my house. You'll have to pay for it, you know. Oh, very funny. Not your double life. This house. Attractive, but clearly most expensive. Oh, Jeannie deals with all that sort of thing. Now, that is funny. <laughs> what do you mean? Cut. T117, take two. Speed. Oh, I'm in such a rage. So am I. What are we to do? I don't know. Whose yacht is there? The Duke of Westminster's, I expect it always is. I wish you were on it. I wish you were too. There's no need to be nasty. Yes, there is every need. I've never in my life felt a greater urge to be nasty. Yeah, and you can be, can't you? What about that damn telegram? That line is not in the script of private lives. The only thing that needs fixing is my acting, indeed. There are times when it most definitely does. That is precisely why I agreed to start rehearsal so early. Oh, go to hell. Now, never move on a line like that. It kills its oh, stone dead. I'll kill you in a minute. <laughs> when does Tony arrive? Next Wednesday? Why? Well, the Lord Chamberlain has seen fit to question various passages from private lives. I shall have to go to London to convince him that he is mistaken. Oh? So you and Tony will have the house to yourselves. Oh, I, uh... I might go with you. If you do, it'll be the first time a theatrical censor has provided a woman with a refuge from answering pressing questions from her lover. Mm. By the way, how are dear Charles and dear Ben? Don't be coarse, dear. You're a guest in my house. You'll have to pay for it, you know. Very funny. Not your double life. This house, attractive, but clearly most expensive. Well, Jeannie deals with all that sort of thing. Now that is funny. <laughs> oh, good. Cut. Cut. Try one more. Okay. Where? Okay. T-117, take three. Speed. We'll get, we'll get party a little flash. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm in such a rage. So am I. What are we to do? I don't know. Whose yacht is that? The Duke of Westminster's, I expect it always is. Mm, I wish you were on it. I wish you were, too. There's no need to be nasty. Yes, there is every need. I've never in my life felt a greater urge to be nasty. Well, and you can be, can't you? What about that damn telegram? That line is not in the script of private life. The only thing that needs fixing is my acting indeed. There are times when it most definitely does. That is precisely why I agreed to start rehearsal so early. Oh, go to hell. Never move on a line like that. It kills its stone dead. I'll kill you in a minute. When does Tony arrive? Next Wednesday. Why? Well, the Lord Chamberlain has seen fit to question various passages from private lives. I shall have to go to London to convince him that he is mistaken. Oh? So you and Tony will have the house to yourselves. Well, I am. Um, I might go with you. If you do, it'll be the first time a theatrical censor has provided a woman with a refuge from answering pressing questions from her lover. By the way, how are dear Charles and dear Ben? Don't be coarse, dear. You're a guest in my house. You'll have to pay for it, you know. Very funny. Not your double life. This house, attractive, but clearly most expensive. Oh, Jeannie deals with all that sort of thing. Now that is funny. <laughs> Attractive nose. Gets a little more fun out of that nose. T43, Boston, take two. Nose, yes. Very I'll thank you to leave nose. my nose alone. Here we go. Do your roll. Aha. Ready? Yes. Oh, Noel, darling, this is wonderful. At moments of depression or exhilaration, there's nothing like a good long lunch. Mm -hmm. Helps to keep a sense of perspective. Right. Of course, Andre Charlot knows nothing whatsoever about talent. Thank you. I was referring to the fact that he was totally unimpressed by my audition. Oh, oh never mind, he'll learn. We must just give him time. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, congratulations on a passable first night. Oh, you just wait till the next one. I'll show him. You're in the chorus, and Charlotte's a disciplinarian, so don't try any tricks. All I've done is fall through that damned hole on Quite. my back, Quite, but I know you, Gertie. Given a step, you're apt to imagine it's a long jump, and you might find yourself falling flat on that very attractive nose. Mm. Good morning, Tony. Hello, Mel. What did you think of Charlotte's effort last night? We must all suffer occasionally. Miss Gertrude Lawrence, Sir Anthony Spencer. How do you do? Uh, yeah. May I join you for a moment? I'm waiting for Julian and he's late. Well, you can't expect Couturiers to be as prompt as soldiers. Uh, what do you think of it? I'm sorry? The Charlotte Review. Oh, splendid. Have you seen it? Oh, my God. I am in it, Mr. Spencer. <laughs> he's a knight. Not that it matters. 
I don't care if he's a belted earl, he's as blind as a bat. 